Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Pedro Martos, LDA Sales Manager of Europe. Today, I would like to give you a brief overview of LDA Neo 8060 rear side. There will be two videos about this section. Let's start with the audio inputs. We have five balanced audio analog inputs. For example, here we could connect a radio, CD, or MP3 player. Please note the input number 5 is shared with our bus for microphones. We call it Axi Bus. Let's see it in detail. Into this bus, you could connect in serial up to 8 of the following devices our multi paging stations, MPS headset, and our remote voice alarm panels, VAP1. This bus will provide to these units audio, control, and power. Additionally, we could connect up to 32 Covernet remote sources, thanks to our LDA's S22 analog Covernet converter unit. The audio inputs in the rear side are clear, but what about the audio outputs? These are the 100 volt outputs where you can connect your speaker lines. Please note there are 8 amplifier channels with 16 physical outputs. This will allow us to create an A plus B installation as you can see in this picture. If we take the outputs before the amplification process, we will have the preamp outputs. For example, these audio line level outputs are useful in case you want to add external recorders or auto amplified speakers. On the left side of the amplifier outputs, we have the spare inputs. They are used to make the necessary connections whenever you need a backup amplifier. After the speaker lines, we will need our end of line device. We call it TFL. Please note only the version 1 of this device needs the return cable. The return cable will be connected in NEO into these inputs, creating a system like the one in the picture. Ok, we will see the rest of the connections in the following video, rear side part 2, so thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our website www.lda-audiotech.com and in our YouTube channel.